Welcome back to the Real Story channel. Akin, a fisherman residing in a small coastal village in Nigeria, had a deep affection for the sea. His days were primarily spent on his boat, engaging in the activity of casting nets and catching fish. Although he found contentment in his uncomplicated life, a sense of loneliness persisted within him. Lacking any family or friends, he was often shunned by the other villagers due to their perception of him as peculiar. Akin frequently engaged in conversations with himself and sang songs to the waves. During one of his voyages back to the shore, he noticed a glistening object in the water. Leaning over the edge of his boat, he discovered an enchanting woman with long black hair and a green tail, a mermaid. Her radiant eyes and captivating beauty left Akin awestruck, and he experienced a surge of curiosity and attraction. Extending his hand, he greeted her and inquired about her identity. Drawing nearer, the mermaid, named Nola, gently touched his hand and introduced herself. She revealed that she resided in the coral reef and had been observing Akin for a considerable time. Nola expressed her admiration for his voice and songs, acknowledging his unique qualities among humans. She perceived him as kind, gentle, and respectful toward the sea and its inhabitants, leading her to desire friendship with him. Overwhelmed by a warm sensation in his chest, Akin eagerly reciprocated, expressing his wish to befriend Nola. He regarded her as the most extraordinary being he had ever encountered and expressed his desire to meet her again. Nola consented, assuring him that she would visit the same location every day at sunset. However, she emphasized the importance of a promise from Akin never to disclose her existence to anyone as the fear and ignorance of other humans could potentially endanger her. Akin readily agreed, pledging to keep her a secret and considering her his cherished treasure, vowing to protect her. After bidding farewell with smiles, Akin returned to his village, but thoughts of Nola consumed his mind. The anticipation of their next meeting filled him with newfound joy and excitement. Unable to resist, he ventured back to the sea the following day, arriving at the familiar spot where Nola awaited him. They engaged in lively conversations, shared laughter, and harmonized their voices in song. Stories, secrets, and dreams flowed freely between them, unveiling the depths of their respective worlds. Surprisingly, they discovered numerous similarities and experienced a profound connection. From friends, their bond blossomed into lovers. Day after day, they met, and their love flourished, growing deeper and stronger with each passing moment. Akin yearned to spend more time with Nola and envisioned a life together. He longed to bring her to his home, so he gathered the courage to ask her, Nola, will you marry me? Will you be my wife? Filled with surprise and happiness, Nola expressed her love and desire to be with Akin eternally. However, Doubts emerged as they pondered the challenges of uniting their distinct worlds, a land dweller and a sea dweller. Akin, undeterred, proposed a solution. He proposed building a house on the beach, a place where they could marvel at the sea and sky, and they could explore both his village and her reef. In this way, they could embrace the best of both worlds and find happiness together. Reflecting on Akin's suggestion, Nola paused for a moment and then agreed, acknowledging that they could indeed make it work and find happiness. She pledged to marry him, becoming his wife. Overwhelmed with joy, they embraced, kissed, and celebrated their decision. They chose to exchange vows the following day at sunrise, desiring a simple and intimate ceremony that required no witnesses other than themselves and their love. On the appointed morning, they met on the beach, professing their loyalty and devotion to each other. Adorning their hair and necks with shells and flowers, they sealed their marriage with a tender kiss. Their happiness knew no bounds. They settled into a modest hut on the beach, where they lived harmoniously for a while, cherishing their days and nights together. They ventured to Nala's reef and Akin's village, forging friendships with dolphins and birds. Their happiness, however, proved ephemeral. One fateful day, a group of men from a neighboring town arrived in the village. 
Driven by avarice and the pursuit of wealth and dominance, they sought the bountiful fish and pearls said to inhabit the surrounding seas. Armed with boats, nets, and spears, their interests lay solely in personal gain, with little regard for the sea or its creatures. When these men laid eyes upon Akin and Nola on the beach, astonishment and curiosity gripped them. The sight of a mermaid was entirely unfamiliar and captivated their desires. They deemed her a rare and valuable specimen, envisioning her as a lucrative sale or a prize trophy. Bereft of concern for her emotions and rights, they launched an assault on Akin and Nola, endeavoring to seize her. Akin, fiercely protective and devoted to Nola, valuing her above his own life, vehemently resisted their advances. He fought with every ounce of strength, determined to prevent them from wrenching her away. However, outnumbered and overpowered, his efforts proved futile. Overwhelmed, he was cast down, succumbing to the men's onslaught as they impaled him with their spears, leaving him bleeding upon the sand. Nala, captured and confined within a cage, cried out in anguish as a kin, teetering on the brink of death, beheld her plight from the beach. Her voice resonated within his mind, uttering words of love and desperation. He keenly felt her pain, her fear intertwining with his own. His heart shattered as he whispered to Nola, declaring his love repeatedly, knowing that their separation was imminent and that their love was now engulfed in tragedy. He peacefully closed his eyes and passed away. Meanwhile, Nola endured the agonizing fate of being transported to the town, where she became an object of display. Treated as a mere animal, stripped of her dignity, she endured constant scrutiny, prodding, and mocking. Subjected to abuse and torment, her existence became one of misery and despair. She yearned for Akin, their home, and the love and happiness they once shared. Overwhelmed by her anguish, she longed for release, praying fervently to the sea and the sky, beseeching them for a miracle. She pleaded for an opportunity to escape and reunite with Akin, whether in this life or the next. Moved by Nola's plea and filled with compassion, the sea and the sky decided to grant her wish. They conjured a tempest, unleashing a flood upon the town. In the chaos, they shattered her confinement, freeing Nola from her captive state. They carried her tenderly back to the sea, her rightful abode. Nola swam back to the beach, where she discovered Ekin's lifeless body. Overwhelmed with grief, she wept, mourned, and kissed him. In tearful remorse, she apologized repeatedly, cradling him in a tight embrace. Whispering declarations of love, she longed to resurrect him, but deep down, she knew such a feat was impossible. Forbidden from joining him in death, as a mermaid, she was bound to an eternal existence. Resolute in her decision, Nola embraced her only available course of action. She chose to remain with Akin for all eternity. Lying down beside him, she closed her eyes, ceasing her breath and movement. She relinquished the essence of life, transforming into a statue, an immutable stone. Witnessing her profound love and sacrifice, the sea and the sky were deeply moved. In honor of her devotion, they blessed her and adorned her with a burial of sand, shells, and flowers. They transformed their resting place into a solemn monument, immortalizing their love as a legend, a tale that would be told for generations. Nola and Akin became an enduring symbol of love, a love that transcended the boundaries of life and death, land and sea, and human and mermaid. In the end, they found solace and everlasting happiness. Thank you for watching, see you in the next videos.